Now, that being said, which do you think is better, hypertrophy or hypla hyperplasia? Hyperplasia. I'm saying that wrong. Whatever. Hey, guys, what's up? This is Muscle Panda here. It's what we're going to do. We're going to be doing a MK677 versus Osterine video. So, I know what you're thinking. MK67, technically not a SARM. Osterine, very weak SARM. Why am I doing this? I'm doing this because I think this is a valid point of view. All right, so the breakdown. Osterine and MK677 build muscle two different ways. Osterine is a selective androgenic receptor modulator. It targets the androgen, androgen receptors in the cells, theoretically creating more muscle, burning more fat. MK677 stimulates the brain to produce more HGH, more HGH and more IGF-1, which is also going to theoretically build muscle and burn fat. Key difference, though. Binding to the androgen receptors is going to stimulate muscle hypertrophy. That is, the muscles getting bigger. The HGH is going to stimulate something else. It's going to be stimulating... Sorry. This is going to be stimulating hyperplasia. That is cell division. There is going to be cells being created inside your body. So I learned about this by watching Dr. Tony Huge. He talks a lot about hyperplasia and a lot of other things. Now that being said, which do you think is better, hypertrophy or hypla hyperplasia? Hyperplasia. I'm saying that wrong. Whatever. I'm going to lean towards the hy hyperplasia. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> it's going to be better because you're producing more cells. Have you ever seen those pictures with the bodybuilders where they shrink? That's the hypertrophy going away. Hyperplasia helps with like a muscle memory type thing. Granted, there's muscle memory when it comes to hypertrophy as well. That's how the bodybuilders can shrink and grow as if on command. And if you combine in certain illegal drugs or supplements, that helps too. <laughs> So, they both work two different ways. Obviously, putting them together is better. But if you had to choose one or the other, what really breaks it down to is how strong they are and the side effects. Ostrine, theoretically, will lower your testosterone because it's suppressive. And there's a list of side effects like heart disease, stroke, possible liver damage, all sorts of things. MK677 is a little bit different. Increased insulin sensitivity, um, water retention... Uh, headaches, I guess, a couple other things. I guess they could both cause headaches. I've talked to a couple of people that have experienced headaches with both. And so the side effects are different too. Key difference though, in my opinion, is the testosterone suppression. MK677 does not suppress testosterone or Ostrain will. Even if it's minute, Ostrain is going to suppress your natural testosterone, which can theoretically cause you issues in the future. Strength-wise, I would say they're almost equal. I'm going to have to give the strength to Ostrine, but just on a hair. It's just barely stronger than MK677 for strength gains and muscle growth. But MK6, MK677 doesn't have a time limit. You can take MK677 as long as you want, basically. Like, they've done studies and stuff for people that have done it for, like, over a year. Because that's about the time frame that someone would do HGH is you'd want to do it for like a year or like two years because over time is where you're going to grow the most. So you can take MK677 for like six months or 12 months where you can only really take Ostrain for like one or two months before you have to cycle off. Even if you took Ostrain for 12 months, your body's going to get used to it and it's going to stop working. Your body's going to get used to MK677 as well, but I guess it's a slower process via what I've read on the interwebs. So, the breakdown, I'm going to have to choose MK677 over Ostrain. The side effects are more manageable while still getting gains. All right, guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, comment below. Do your thing. I'll see you next time.